Um, if I wanted to find the negation of each one of these statements, right, what I first need to do is determine what negation is. So the negation is the opposite of your statement. Okay? And we and we write negation like this. I forget, I forgot the little name of this uh, symbol, but it's like a little squiggly little line. You know? Alright? So let's go over two examples of our statement. So we have a statement or a conditional statement of if I go fishing, then I catch fish. We call the hypothesis P and our conclusion Q. We like with those letters P and Q because then I can say, well, example then, what is the negation of P and what is the negation of Q? So remember the opposite, or so pretty, pretty much P. The square means opposite of P. So what is the opposite of my statement P? You were yawning, but I'll just pick on you. Uh, Q, right. Well, what is, what is P? Uh, <coughs> Which is? So what is the opposite of I go fishing? I do not go fishing. I do not go fishing. Very good. All right. And then I have opposite of Q. And what's my Q? What's Q? Huh? Exactly. What's Q? Well, okay. So let's look at conclusion is Q. And it's right here. So the Q is I catch fish. And what is the opposite of I catch fish? I do not catch fish. Okay, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we, that is what the negation is and how we determine the negation of certain statements. All right? Now, negation is going to be very helpful in determining some other things. Everybody's got that?